Hey all, this is Ed Tom, and welcome back for a new round of Hellfire Comms Patreon TV Comms. Just me today. Uh, I'm trying to uh, whittle down the backlog a little bit faster than we are uh, currently doing, so I figured I'd take on a few TV Comms myself and do them solo. It's not going to be completely solo, like uh, Neo will still be joining me for a series where, you know, we, we both enjoy, like Cooking Master Boy and uh, Stein's Gate and stuff like that. But I figured for shows like he's not super into, like My Hero here, yeah, I, I'd, you know, take it on myself. And uh, while I am a little bit nervous because I don't really rate myself that highly when it comes to uh, solo comms, I'm going to give it uh, my best shot. So uh, thank you for your support and continued patience while we whittle down this big old back. Like I said, today we're checking out episodes 10 to 12 of Boku no Hero Academia, otherwise known as My Hero Academia. These were commissioned by GamerGuy287, and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, check the video description if you need syncing instructions, everything is in there. Here we go, episode 10 of My Hero Academia in 3, 2, 1. Kind of starting off easy with uh, the OP here. I don't have to worry too much about uh, in-depth commentary right now. You know, it's kind of funny. I have the latest episode of My Hero sitting on my desktop here, along with the latest episode of um, The World Ends With You. You know, the uh, anime adaptation. Haven't had a chance to watch it, mostly because I've been uh, you know, either editing or streaming or just recording in general. So uh, it's nice to actually just be able to sit down and uh, watch some anime, even if it's, you know, <laughs> for the purpose of, you know, someone else. This OP is, like, so quaint compared to the ones we have now. Mostly just Deku with a few flashes of the uh, other heroes that he doesn't really know all that well right now. It's also interesting to see, like, this and where both Deku and Bakugo are right now in the story. I'm trying not to give too many spoilers away, because, uh, you know, <laughs> even if this is uh, something that will probably not be watched by many people, I don't want someone to accidentally click on it and for me to say, like, oh, Deku literally becomes God at, like, season six or whatever. Got a fresh cup of tea with me here. Alright, here we go. If I recall correctly, they're on a field trip. And oh yeah, here we go. And the Mr. Hands and his crew comes through the portal. Oh boy, there's the moment. Look at all these guys with the worst quirks. It's no wonder they became villains. Like, that one guy is, like, just a head. Yeah, that would probably get his attention. Mm-hmm, yep. Encounter with the Unknown. This string of episodes is actually pretty great. I mean, if they're gonna come through a pole, I think that might bypass some of the security options, you know? I'm not sure that guy even has a quirk, he's just wearing a mask. Unless his quirk is to have a mask, in which case, eh, I guess you're bound to be a villain of that route. Whenever I see tomorrow, I think that's his name, I just think of the phrase, catch these hands. He went out and he caught all of them. Mm, yeah, that makes sense, interfere with, you know, electromagnesis or whatever. That's a reuse shot. I mean, if you're doing a 22-episode 
Sorry, a 22 minute episode thing. You kind of have to cut some corners here and there. Especially if it's uh, being animated on a weekly basis. I feel like I see a race ahead fight less in the uh, the later season, so um, it's kind of a treat to see him just go all out here. Because you can forget, like beyond his quirk of like just temporarily erasing other people's quirks, he's a really good like fighter, hand to hand as well. Although he did kind of pass on his um, binding skills to uh, the. Purple haired dude, I forget his name. Uh, the one who can, like, you know, take control of people's minds. <laughs> to be honest, love, I don't think you were going to do much. <laughs> You, know, you can send in the Nomu at any point here. Get the fuck out of here. You had a 50 50 chance of Paul Guy or maybe one of the organization coming out of there, let's be honest. Well, they're very polite about it. Well, credit where credit's due, they put the best foot forward. You know, I wasn't sure if um, 13 was male or female originally. I, th I think it's mostly because um, Yurawati, Achaku, uh, was like, oh, I, I fucking love you and your quirks so much. But it's mostly because they share similar, you know, quirk styles. I, I think uh, 13 is male at the end of the day. <laughs> wow. Just get rid of the chaff, just throw him in the water. If only they knew how powerful Deku actually was. Gotta say, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic uh, watching this right now. That guy is just a shark. Yeah, get fucked. Feel like uh, one of those zoo tier things. Frog should be S rank. Shark can now be relegated to C. <laughs> I like how she put Deku down softly, just drop Minetta on his ass. That's another thing that's kind of changed. I feel like they've toned down Mineta's perverted tendencies in the recent times. Because it's really kind of a one-note joke, so...
All right. I completely forgot about that, honestly. One thing you can always count on with anime is uh, they'll give you a recap of the information you need. His world is crumbling around him, Jesus. No, nope. and they come. Obviously, they have no way of knowing just how powerful Deku, etc. is. This feels like a lot of people to deal with three kids. Yeah, the, these are, like, pretty legit reasons. Mostly it's because he's annoying, I would imagine. They just hate how good he is. It is time to begin your Boku no Hero Academia. Just... Start punching and don't stop until they're all unconscious, Deku. To be honest, if I was a superhero, that's how I'd handle it. Yeah, base ton of rookie. I don't really have, like, a full grasp on everyone's names. Especially in, you know, non-dubbed animes. Like, obviously, I'm watching the sub for this, so, uh, like, Kangaroo... Dude, I could not tell you his name, but uh, I remember Todoroki, you got Deku, you got Froppy, you got Mina there, Ochaku, Ida is pretty based. So if I end up giving them nicknames, <laughs> I'm not doing it as a joke, it's mostly just so you, you know who I'm talking about, who I'm referring to. There at halfway through episode 10. Well, I haven't had a panic attack yet, so that's good. I think the solo thing might just work out. There's a bit of a red flag. You might as well go now. I love this guy. <laughs> oh my, it's a treat as well. I want to know how we got his scar. Look at those Tims. Secret to uh, commentary, especially when you're on your own, is just point out what you see on screen. A little Anton secret of the trade for you, though.
That's the problem with uh, powers that have a time limit. You've always got to micromanage yourself very carefully. Another thing I noticed, by the way, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, Deku's latest costume kind of draws more from what All Might actually looks like as opposed to, you know, his buff form. It's kind of interesting. I really wish you wouldn't shit on the floor like a mouse would, though. It's very awkward, even if you are the principal. I feel like Shoji is, like, one of the characters in Class A that doesn't really get much love, because there's only so much you can do with him. I'm not trying to say that I love Ida because he reminds me of Sonic or anything, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, as the class rep, it's not just about representing people. It's about doing what's best for them as well. Run, Barry, run! Yeah, get sucked. It's very nice of them to just like wait for the heroes to get their shit together instead of attacking all at once. I imagine in a different timeline that did happen. And, uh, yeah, let's just say Deku didn't reach his full potential. God, I forgot how skinny he is at this point. Mm, yeah, that's true. Honestly, this could all be solved with just one gun. Just bring a gun. With at least five bullets. I haven't seen um, Froppy do this yet, the stomach thing. The mucus thing, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have the same power as a children's toy, essentially. <laughs> oh, that's... Even if he's not the best character, <laughs> I don't like seeing this sort of thing. Just get a new costume, dude. I imagine you'll be much more... Respected when you got a bit of drip, you know. Uh oh, 
Yeah, you've had enough time to uh, get your shit together. Now it's go time. <laughs> oh my god, he's communicating only in crying now. He's got a point. This is, like, way above their current... Well, not being paid grade, because they're students, but... So does your quirk take away your lips? What's going on here? Fuck an egg, but not too much. Oh, <laughs> this theme gives me chills. Even now, even after all these seasons, please don't show his floppy appendages. Yeah, there you go, stick them all together. Science, baby. <laughs> now you can all drown together. Nah, there's a great wallpaper right there. Ah, watch the ED for uh, this episode. Skip it to. For episodes 11 and 12, that was a pretty solid episode overall, I think. Um, a lot of prep, a lot of setup, but uh, believe me when I say 11 and 12 are basically going to be mostly action, so it's all good. I like the CD a lot, actually. I feel like the EDs are more consistent than the OPs. I don't know how you guys feel about that for my hero.
Yep, you just gotta keep going. Eventually you'll bloom. Alright, just a next time thing, no stinger here. Alright guys, that was episode 10 of My Hero Academia. Like I said, a lot of setup, but uh, the payoff will be pretty great. So if you'll uh, let me load up episode 11 here. Alright. Okay, I'm good to go, so let's do this. Episode 11 of My Hero Academia in 3, 2, 1. That wasn't so bad, recording on my own there. Hopefully the commentary wasn't too schlocky. Watashi wa Portal Sun. Another name I can't remember, sorry. <laughs> I should just call him Portal Sun. Mostly because it makes me laugh. That's kind of my MO when it comes to commentary. I mostly say, like, jokey stuff to make the CoCom or myself laugh. Like, no offense to y'all. I do like recording for you guys, but uh, if you can't entertain yourself or your CoCom, you're not really a very good commentator. Be a coward to save others, Ida. You can do it. Suck. Finger flick water edition. <laughs> then he just throws the right beater balls. My hero is very good at like showing all these rather mundane quirks potentially becoming super powerful when used alongside other kind of mundane quirks. So even if someone only has the power to like turn into a pencil or turn things into pencils, that could easily like <laughs> be dangerous if used with another person's quirk. I don't know, maybe someone has, like, the ability to make cannons and you can put the pencil into a cannon and fire at someone, you know? And while this OP's on, I'm gonna check my email. There's only so many times you can say the same thing over a, an OP. Picked up a couple of games for uh, the HFC livestream. God of War 3 Remastered. I got uh, the Castlevania Requiem collection. So I haven't really been into the Metroidvania side of the franchise. And uh, I want to start with Symphony of the Night because people said that's good for a, a beginner like me, so... Random bit of trivia, uh, Samurai Snake is a big fan of Richter Belmont. I had to tell him that, sorry, I got Requiem for Symphony more than I did uh, Rondo of Blood. I am now paying attention again. What does that have to do with anything, Mineta? <laughs> I like Froppy. She just... She doesn't bullshit. She doesn't, like, put things softly. Sometimes you gotta say what you gotta say. I was going to say, I feel like there should be a lot more people here. Yeah. 
Yeah, just like sneak in and pick off who you can, really. Not the most uh, <laughs> hopeful tile for an episode. Not really a lot you can do to counter like a freezing blast, unless you're like literally made of fire or something. There's that scene again. Thought they were smart sneaking in, but I saw it. One guy had like a spear quirk. I think that dude with the green stripe just had a knife. It's weird seeing Todoroki stick to his ice powers, having watched up to, like, what, season 4, season 5? There's a reason he only uses ice. I'll, uh, let you guys who haven't seen past this point, if you're watching Wimmers, figure that out for yourself. <laughs> there you go. Put him to good use. Hell yeah. Kudos to that guy. He got a punch in, but it didn't exactly end well for him. Jiro is pretty cool, especially in the the school festival arc. But I'll say no more. There you go, fucking let rip, boy. Pikachu! Did you guys really not come with, like, rubber soled shoes or something? I guess tomorrow just, like, picked anyone who uh, wanted to be a villain or something. Oh, he kind of overexerted himself, I think. Hmm. Seems like a race ahead has things under control here.
Uh oh. These are the most dangerous types of villains. The ones who bother to pay attention to uh, what a hero can do. Mm, yeah, more a one on one sort of thing. It's a good job being invested in these binding bands. Can't keep using his uh, nullification quirk 24 7. Jesus. Uh oh. When you start sucking, but then it sucks back. Did make an interesting point about a support hero trying to uh, save people via battle as well. Just kind of goes back to what I said about uh, certain quirks being mundane on their own, but when combined, have terrifying battle potential. I thought Ida already left, I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot he was still here. Man, I'm out of this bitch. Just run around it, dude. There you go. Jesus. I forgot how much your racer had got his shit pushed in in this earth. Uh, halfway through episode 11 now. Well, <laughs> at least these places were designed to be disaster zones for the heroes to trade in, so uh, Bakugo can cut loose. I want to pay attention, guys. There's a chameleon in the room. Hell yeah. 
Never thought I'd be rooting for Bakugo. It takes him so long to stop being a prick, or at least reach the point where he's, like, starting to not be as much of a prick. That's not really a spoiler, it's just basic character development, really. Yeah, boy, yeah. God, you're so cool. <laughs> He's so fucking cool. See ya. <laughs> Get fucked. The amazing power of sellotape and physical strength. Yeah, it's time to cut loose, boy. So the game over seemed a bit, uh... Scary at first, but it was game over for the villains. Please stop smushing my favorite teacher. Don't do it. Yeah, I uh, don't think that's going to work. <laughs> it doesn't seem like the Nobu has a quirk. He's just super fucking strong. Yeah, there we go. I mean, Deku could just interfere at any point, but I think they might just knock him away. And by knock away, I mean just instantly murder him. There you go. Rationality had to kick in eventually. Too bad it wasn't uh, before he made his costume. Just a load of hands. Just put a load of hands on me. Clearly taking advantage. <laughs> you just fucking drown him. Any time now, Deku. Uh oh.
Just in the nick of time as well. Oof. Mm, I don't think that's it, Deku. Don't get complacent. Oh. You're not all mine, but you are the next best thing, sir. So. Knock, knock. Daddy's home. This is one of the best moments in, like, the entirety of the show's run, in my opinion. And rarely have we seen him, like, properly angry. You wanted him here, he's here, so... Oh, wow. That was still as thrilling as it was initially for me. Let me uh, skip through uh, the credits here, see if there's anything. Uh, nope, just the next time thing. So, that was episode 11 of My Hero Academia. Lots more action, like I said. Very nearly uh, went horribly wrong at the end there. Tomorrow was like... A couple of inches away from just disintegrating Froppy, and uh, let's just say a My Hero about Froppy is not a My Hero I want to watch or indulge in. So uh, let me uh, open up episode 12 here, and uh, yeah, I think we're just about good to go. I just want to check to see if this is um, the season finale. I'm not sure if there is a uh, an episode 13 or not. You know how uh, Adam is, B with their episode counts. Yes, sir. Uh, there is an episode 13 that will uh, be in next time's batch. So, let's close out today's with episode 12 of My Hero Academia in 3, 2, 1. This is easily one of my favourite episodes of uh, My Hero as a whole, I think. Like, things are just so desperate right now. Heroes basically on the verge of being utterly murdered, and then he appears, the symbol of peace. Just give him a sec. <laughs> They're just doing a little bit of a recap here. Yeah, for being such a big guy, Nomus can move pretty fast. Have no fear, because I am here. Oh. <laughs> it's times like this when the OP is more of a hindrance than anything. It's just kind of delaying gratification, satisfaction. 
But you've got to you got to enjoy moments like this. It's the deep breath before the plunge. But as for me, it's another chance to check my emails and whatnot. I'm a busy guy. Nothing yet, so I return to listening to the wonderful OP. I think we should be getting another one in like a couple of episodes' time. Then it seems we get like two a season. I don't know, that's just what it feels like to me. I'm not a super big fan of the, the current one. Kind of goes back to what I was saying about the EDs being more consistent than the uh, OPs. A few spoilers in the this OP for, I don't know, maybe the episode we're watching right now. All right. Whew, I'm excited. Let's do it. Beware the fury of a good man, guys. Some people, like, go their entire lives without getting angry. But when they do, you best fucking watch out. Oh. <laughs> I fucking love it so much. I may mark out a bit during this episode. You have been warned. Just called All Might. What else do you need, really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just knocked him down like it were nothing. Moved so fast he didn't even realise it. No, he can't see my precious face. You know, maybe this is what I'm missing. <laughs> you know, with the uh, ability to leave the house much due to anxiety and whatnot. I should just put a hand on my face. Mm, they're noticing it. Or oh, might slowing down a little bit. He's so fucking kawaii. There you go, get him out of here. Took it like it weren't nothing. That's interesting. Now it's my turn. You know, if I was all might, and I had the power 
of his quirk. I would just aim for the brain. In fact, I wouldn't be scared at all. I would just punch him until he died. My quirk would probably be something like... Can sleep easily through the night without waking up once. Oh my god! That type of wrestling is always hype. <laughs> it happened in God of War 2018 with Boulder against Kratos, and I almost lost my fucking mind the first time I saw it. Suplex, that's it. I don't know why I was thinking of a stunner. Completely different thing. Aim for the balls. Hmm. I assume they gave him replacements, otherwise he probably wouldn't be here right now. I'm not sure if they ever uh, addressed that. Yeah, that's courage for you guys. It's not a lack of fear. It's uh, moving forward in spite of that fear. I, I completely forgot about these portal shenanigans. Oh, that ain't good. Yeah, your guts. Your blood. I don't swish around inside me. Yeah, I, I could call that a win. You know, that was a thing with Thanos in uh, the MCU. They could have uh, just opened a portal, like, around his hand, and then uh, use it to chop off the hand with the glove. Uh, just something I remember from the discourse around that time. I'm sure that's not the only reason <laughs> he's saving all my, but uh, it is kind of funny the way he brought that up first. Ah, here comes the reinforcements.
I cannot remember Red Rush's name at all. I'm not even sure if that is his super name, but he's really fucking cool, especially in the, the later seasons. For someone who has kind of like a... It's not a mundane power, but I wouldn't call it like a tier one power or anything. He really makes impressive use out of it. Alright, halfway through. Now, if you thought that setup was hype, <laughs> just wait for the payoff. Guys, you still need to get him to a safe place. Go on, do your job. There you go. Keep it going. Acheco's arms look really short there for some reason. Oh my god, you're still alive? What does your body look like exactly? Because all I'm seeing within that suit is a black mass. Hmm, yeah, good point. See, back ago, he might be a hothead, but he's not stupid. He does pay attention to the weaknesses of his enemies. <laughs> well, anti-hero, then. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that look that made me laugh. It just looked funny. I forget. Can he regenerate or not? I guess I'll get my answer in a second. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Well, they knocked back and go away from the portal, dude, so uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Just kind of tanked it. I wonder if Bakugo for tomorrow was talking about him for a second. Because between the two, I would say Bakugo looks more plain compared to Deku. Dude, you literally disintegrate people. Please fuck off with this, like, insane troll logic.
Exactly, it don't make a lick of sense. I will do this on my own, for I am buff and you are not. But you are icy, even if you aren't buff. Hoo <laughs> chills. A minute's all you need, mate. You can get a lot done in a minute. You can even save the world. Oh, it's happening! I've watched this individual scene on YouTube so many times, sub and dub. And I gotta say, Christopher Sabat as all might, does a fucking fantastic job. Not just with the dub in general, but with this scene in particular. Oh, I love a good punch rush. Nah, mate. I'm not accepting that. I am just going to punch harder. Oh, oh, he's weakening. Credit where credit's due, the dub actor for Deku does a good job with this scene as well. The hairs on my arm are standing up. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! I got the biggest smile on my face right now. Man, what an episode to end this batch of uh, TV commentaries with. He team rocketed that Nobu. Fucking blasted off again. Yeah, you're just now discovering how far up the ladder you're going to need to go to reach the top. It's very daunting, isn't it?
Oh, TikTok, time's up. He's so mad. Oh boy, let's have a little skip through here. ED, ED, ED. And yeah, just the next time thing. Okay, guys, that was episode 12 of uh, the first season of My Hero Academia. What a fantastic one to end this batch with. That All Might vs. No Move fight was just as fantastic as it was the first time. And, you know, all the uh, trainee heroes coming to back him up at the beginning was pretty hype as well. But um, I guess we're going to have to see the fallout of this particular battle next time. Thank you once again, Gamer Guy, for uh, commissioning more of this, and uh, thank you for your support. If you guys want to commission your own TV comms, there is a backlog, meaning if you commission stuff now, you'll probably get it next year, but everything that goes onto the backlog will be delivered eventually. So it's basically like pre-ordering a commentary and whatnot, and uh, just make sure we haven't done it before. You can check the... Um, the watch him call it uh, the playlist on YouTube, or you can just ask me. I have all the stuff written down here, and every penny helps to support the group. And we even have some goals we'd like to hit on the Patreon, such as you know movie com marathons and stuff like that, which I will most likely do with a co com. Don't worry, I'm not going to subject you to like two plus hours of just me. I think an hour fifteen is a uh, more than enough. But uh, TLDR support HFC on Patreon, get some stuff in return, even if it takes a bit. Thanks for listening, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this solo commentary from me. I will try my best with everything else that comes along. Thanks for listening. See you next time for another batch of Patreon TV comms. Bye bye.